I've just arrived at Gloucester this morning to see the feature wall in our new office be constructed. It's 3D concrete printing, so it looks like this, it feels like concrete, it performs like concrete, but it's not. Right, so what we're doing here, this is obviously a very particular type of 3D printing. We're doing 3D concrete printing. That's what the industry calls it, the emerging industry anyway, because obviously it's not very big yet. Um, and I guess the first thing to point out about it is that there's no concrete. So, you know, that's what we call it, but actually uh, what we're printing with here is a cement-free mortar. So it's a more sustainable option. Yeah. And uh, it's referred to as an AACM, an alkali activated cementitious material. Uh, which is made from ground granulated blast furnace slag from the steel industry. So it's kind of, um, you know, it's, it, think of it as upcycled waste. Yeah, it's more, certainly more eco-friendly, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And I guess uh, the, uh, another key thing to point out about it is that it's hollow. So, you know, you're using a lot less material than you would if it were cast, for example. Yeah. So basically what we're doing is we're mixing the material over there, passing it through a hose to the robot arm, and the robot arm's depositing it here in layers. So. The, the robot arm, the sort of nozzle, is moving about half a meter per second, roughly, which is a lot faster than most people expect it to be going, uh, and it builds it up very quickly. So, as you know, because you've just seen it happen, this whole wall was printed out in, you know, 42 minutes, I think it was. So, you know, in incredibly fast. Um, and as you can see, you know, some quite amazing geometries are possible with this. You know, it, and there'd there basically be almost no cost difference between having a wall like this and a, and a flat one, really? which is obviously a game changer. How does it stand up weather-wise? Yeah, so uh, there'll be absolutely no problems with weather. Um, I think it's been around for a little while now, although not in the UK, it's fairly new to us, but in similar climates um, around the world and elsewhere in Europe and it's holding up very well and uh, something we've done ourselves you know we've got pieces that have been sat outside for many months now in the weather that are looking absolutely perfect just pristine um, and we did a bit of an experiment ourselves you know where we printed out a tank sort of a water tank filled it with water just to see you know really it's a bit of an experiment how well that it does hold water whether or not any would seep through um, and you know it's it's four months later and the water's still there the only way that's getting out is through evaporation so what about, can you seal this or paint it even if a customer wanted a painting? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. You could paint it, um, spray it, you could render it. Um, I, I mean, personally, I like the, the finish. Yes, yeah. And something that we're starting to experiment with at the moment is pigmentation. So if you want it a colour, uh, there's a very good chance that we'll be able to pigment it. So uh, it's that colour through and through rather than having to be a surface applied finish. Uh, sealant, absolutely, yes. Yeah. So, we are starting to work with um, some partners in terms of getting some sealants um, that are being developed specifically for this kind of material. Yeah. And you've recently been exhibiting this, haven't you, at a, uh, a trade show? Yeah, that's right. So we did um, we did Design London a few weeks ago. That went that went fantastically well with uh, a British artist designer Stuart Padwick uh, came up with a great design, and we had a great time. Uh, the response was fantastic, and we did UK Construction Week, which was. I think it was just last week actually, it seems like, you know, forever ago now. But yeah, it was just last week and we were doing live demonstrations two days, sorry, two times a day uh, for three days there. And again, the response was fantastic. Everybody absolutely loved it. Yeah. So what type of things have you made so far with this? Okay, so we've done a lot of prototypes at this stage, obviously, so, you know, from water tanks to you know these kinds of walls to uh, our lunar pod which is the uh, sort of kind of garden office pod that we've designed and um, which is a you know a, a finished product you know so it's rather than just a wall it's it's the whole thing the whole yeah. room and um, you know we've done bridge type structures you know we're, we're we're working on all kinds of things with it really so yeah we'll be uh, Obviously, this is the first panel of two panels, as you know, Craig, that's um, going to be going into your office. We'll leave this now for three or four days. We'll just hang on to it to let it cure for a little bit more, gain a bit more strength, and then we'll get it over to, to your place.